Hey guys, it's time for April's Q&A. So the first question I get a lot of is, who's taking my pictures? And you're looking at her. As you all know, I travel solo, so I don't have anyone following me around taking photos and videos of me. So you're looking at the person that takes my photos. I take it with my iPhone 11. Yeah, I don't have the iPhone 12. And a timer and my Gorilla tripod. So I figured out I should probably just take my phone off the tripod and just show you. Since I've recorded two full videos with it and never pressed record. <sighs> Every so often I might ask a stranger to take a photo but their finger ends up in the picture or it's blurry or the object that's supposed to be in the picture like the statue the building itself i don't even know how that happens um is not in the picture so i rarely ever ask a stranger to take a photo and once in a while it will be a friend or someone i know that will take the photo so yeah uh did i mention that i'll use a rock a tree branch a tree, I'll prop it up against something because I've done, propped it up against many things uh, to take my photos. The second question I get a lot of is, will I do a van tour? And I did do a van tour for you guys. Um, it's two videos ago. Um, I used my phone. I walked around with it. I know I wasn't in the photo again because no one is um, taking a video of me. Um... That's my train of thought. Oh, so yeah, I did a van tour photo and I will provide a link to my YouTube channel so you can watch it. If you don't like it, just let me know. If you don't like any of my videos, if you, whatever. I mean, I know people could be mean on the internet, but I'm not popular, so I don't really get anything hateful yet. Um, not to the popular part, to the not getting anything hateful yet. Question number three. Here we go again with question number three. I don't remember what question number three is. So I didn't get a third question for this month. I just had a lot of people reach out to me or as they normally do and tell me that um, what I'm doing is inspiring to them. I uh, have veterans reach out to me and letting me know that they felt the way I felt um, through what that they've responded to my posts on Instagram or my public Facebook page and they say that what I've written really resonates with them and I thank you for that because that is my small way of connecting with people. I am quite isolated sometimes, um, sometimes through my own choice but um, just there's certain things in my life that have um, There's certain things in my life that have led me down this path. And um, I'm very grateful for this opportunity to decompress, de-stress, and, you know, heal. And sometimes the healing will never be over, but, you know, you can find your happy. And right now this is my happy. Um, and I've met so many good people, nomads like myself, people that are wanderers, travelers, good people. And I just want to say that I'm so thankful for these big and small connections. And I'm very thankful for the opportunity to do this. Um, I know not everyone has been able to do this, especially with COVID and the things that have been happening this past year and I just want to you know send out those positive vibes and energy and let you know that um, that I appreciate you and you following and encouraging me and you know I hope that my tips and my videos and my writing helps you in some way and motivates you to you know, do what you want to do and or, you know, do this because this is awesome. Um, I love you guys and uh, thanks for joining me on this Q&A and on this journey. And um, 
I hope to show you more awesome places and things to do. Talk to y'all later. I literally thought I recorded a whole video twice and I didn't hear a